Okay, I'm going to take a quick break from repairs here and do a little bit of ranting on cheap bullshit garbage. Man, when I first started in this business, when I really dug in both feet in microelectronics repair and started saying, yeah, I'll fix it, anything, this stuff used to drive me nuts because I didn't know what was going on. So um, anyways, whenever you're ordering new charge ports and stuff for your Galaxy S4s and uh, what's another one I had a lot of trouble with? Oh, Galaxy S5. What the heck? Thought I had that wire fixed. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm not used to wearing a mic, but I, you know, just recently started having some real serious issues with audio quality, and I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to be doing a lot to improve these videos. So anyway, bullshit. This is a brand new charge port. I bought this. I don't know. It's probably been sitting in the bin five months or something. But what I run into a lot on Galaxy charge ports, especially for the S5 that I worked on, is just this constant deal where there's always a problem with it. You're damn lucky if it'll even charge the phone, but what these things do a lot of times, like on those S5 ports, um, it's like the, the temperature sensor's wrong and you get a, 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 a thermal warning and there, there's always some stupid shit wrong where the customer charge port's installed but nobody can hear them talking and there's just always something wrong with these so if like if I'm gonna order a port and I'm gonna get it all assembled like this I'll probably order four or five of them just to make sure I get one that works um, I no longer replace these things all in one piece like this if a customer comes in and they still want me to do a port on an S4 or something like that I always change just the micro USB connector and not the rest of this flex unless the flex actually needs change because there's always some stupid garbage wrong with it so um, today I dug in on an S4 to do a charge port, plugged in, I had two of these left in my bin, I didn't feel like swapping the, the USB, the, just the micro USB connector because I'm in a hurry, plugged this thing in, I popped a battery in the phone, and within 30 seconds, that smell of a transistor burning, I know you know what that smells like, some of the stuff that I've had sent here to repair, I know a lot of you know what that smells like, so something smoked on this S4 board. I haven't taken the board out to look at it yet. I did just glaze over one of these. The first one I plugged in didn't charge. Um, and I just, I glazed over it with the microscope. Everything looked okay. The audio filters had been replaced by some other component, probably zero ohm resistors. Um, I had an S5 port the other day where it was given a, a thermal warning. And I think it was a thermal warning, but Anyways, I didn't know what component it was, so I held the good one next to the bad one, and I've sat here and found, I'm like, wait a minute, somebody put a blob of solder over these two contacts, and you know what, that was the thermal sensor. I took the one off the old port, moved it over, and it, it fixed the problem. Um, so anyway, the first one wouldn't charge the battery. The second one I plugged in, I didn't look over it with a microscope or anything, and it just, something on this phone smoked. So now I got a board repair to do on a Galaxy S4 over some cheap bullshit and that's kind of why I'm doing this video right now. I thought about doing this video once before and yeah, but now it's like fucking serious. Ah, oh, gosh. This phone was working when it walked in the door. <laughs> so now I got a lot of parts for these though. I'll get it fixed. So anyway, I'm going to switch you over to the microscope here and sh just show you what what I've bought here as a new port. And this stuff you know, a lot of you are just starting out in the repair business. Um, I get a lot of uh, outcries from a bunch of other shops that are really struggling. And they're like, man, every time I start to make a little money, something happens. And I'll take a, you know, a little bit of a step forward. And then I get kicked down again. And like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. So there's probably going to be a shit ton of shops. And, I'm, you know, I, I was there once. That spring up, have all this problem and get all these problems and get beat down. And a lot of them are going are gonna to give up. And some of them might not even be at fault. This is hogwash. I mean, serious, serious. Let me just show you what, what I'm looking at here. And keep in mind, did we switch without locking up? We did. Keep in mind, I've seen a hell of a lot worse. This one's really not that bad, but it's still not acceptable. Even if this would charge the battery without blowing up your customer's phone, I'm glad I can fix this and I don't have to mail it to somebody like me. But anyway, even if it'll charge the battery without blowing up the phone, there's almost always something else wrong with it. Um, so, okay, let me see if, let me see if this is in focus for you and how well I can get this. So the port itself, I mean, I, I haven't looked at it really good. I took a little bit of a glance at it and thought, video time, this is bullshit. Um, the port itself is actually soldered on there okay. I mean, it's pretty grainy and stuff, but whatever, it, it would work. 
Um, I don't know what each individual component is here, um, but I know that's not acceptable. It's not even the right size component. Like, what did they do? And at first I thought I'd been, that might have been what smoked, but I followed my nose and I know what smoked is the phone and not this port. Um, so that's not even the right component for that spot. Um, I'm just going to kind of peruse over this. So when you're installing charge ports and you run in run into problems, you know you just a lot of times you won't know why it just it just don't work. Um, like if you're trying to get charge ports for uh, what's what's a really really good example? Oh, an HTC One M7 or an M8. Those are always messed up. They're they're like always wrong with the parts raked off the bottom because they got just somebody pulled it out of the phone that they were in and on the M7 and M8 ports there's components that sit down in a little pocket and if you pull it straight out without picking it up and out of that pocket you rip those components off and then they sell the shit to me as a new charge port and it worked better as an old water damage charge port in the phone they yanked it out of okay this little dude here this is a barometric pressure humidity and temperature sensor. I believe it's all of them. Now it might only be one or two of those. Nevertheless, you can't really tell here, but this is just kind of glued on. It's glued on. There's no solder here. It's just it's just glued on. So what fucking purpose does this have of being there other than to make me think that it looks right? It's glued on. Th this component would never work. If I had seen that, I would have never plugged it into my customer's phone, yet I didn't. And you know, if, even if I did see it, I probably would have plugged it in anyway so that I could figure out whether or not it would charge the battery. Because if it would charge the battery, I'd kick this thing off here and put one on there that actually fits. So that's probably about it for this rant. This is one port out of piles and piles and piles. I got a, I got a box full of Samsung new charge ports that I ordered back in the day where I was just really struggling and, and really trying to figure this out and trying to figure out why stuff was going wrong and one of the uh, one of the first screen replacements I did on an S4 um, a customer made it 50 miles away and they called me actually they sent me a picture and said hey there's another one that's the wrong size I mean what this stuff was never meant to work. The stuff that was put on this new port and sold, um, I bought this stuff from Group Vertical in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is a company that used to sell me really good stuff all the time. And I, I'm not sure, it seems to be like really common practice for some of these suppliers where when you're, when you're a new customer, they sell you the really good stuff. And then as time goes on, that just like, down, 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 down. It's almost like they see what they can get you to put up with. And then whenever I started micro-soldering to fix some of this bullshit, which I've fixed a ton of stuff from them, it's like that's all I started getting. It's like, whoa, STS can make this stuff work. It's like they, they almost almost like they set up our own private bin, and that's where we got our stuff. So um, I stopped ordering it like that, and I started doing things here a lot smarter because it's not just them. It's every time I ordered it on eBay, and I, there's a lot of other ones. And I shouldn't even mention them by name, but I kind of went round and round with them only to wind up getting the same exact garbage again. So I threw in the towel. Um, now, whenever I'm going to do one of these ports, I use the customer's, uh, I use the customer's assembly, flat printed circuit, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is kind of flexible. So anyway, I use their assembly and I solder a new port onto it and that gets rid of all this bull crap. But I mean, you can just tell the stuff that was put on here. I bought this as a new port. I paid $10 for it or, you know, six to $10 somewhere. But before I realized exactly what was going on, I'd wind up buying these things in groups um, so that I could get better ones. But I mean, this is just, this one's really awful. Um, There's our dude there. I wonder if I can get show you exactly what they've done. I bet I can focus this to where you can see what I'm talking about. It's glued onto the board. It's not soldered. Somebody glued this sensor here so that it would look right to some poor shit that's trying to fix a phone. And when it don't work, if they don't know what they're doing, they're going to blame themselves. So I thought that was maybe worth mentioning because... 
when I I keep smelling that phone because when I it, it did it smoked something and six dollar piece of and now anyways I, I'm a little bit speechless because now I'm doing board repair on a Galaxy S4 I got a box full of S4 logic boards and um, I'd much rather just swap a board and move on because I don't have time for this but this board probably has data on it it's probably got contacts on it this was a simple charge port replacement and now the room I'm in smells a little bit like smoked MOSFET so um, that's it for this video if you're struggling with shitty ass parts a microscope can really help you identify what some of these problems are and be able to make these shitty parts work because sometimes this one actually looks kind of straight. Sometimes the microphones are on sideways. Sometimes they're not even the right microphone. They'll have the, the hole on the wrong side for sound to pass through. So these people are they're selling all this garbage that is never meant to work. It's just made to make you think that it looks right. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody.